today's class we are going to discuss about the difference between SOAP and REST web services. Well, as the definition says that SOAP is simple object access protocol and REST is representational state transfer. These two protocols have been properly uh, popularly being used for transmitting the data in the APIs. So when we transmit the data between the APIs, there is a set of format which is followed. So SOAP supports only XML format, but REST supports different formats like JSON and XML etc. Whenever we send the data on the website, on the network, then the data which is sent through JSON format, it is much cheaper than that sending it in the XML format. So sending the data through REST is definitely cheaper than sending the data through SOAP. Another point is that SOAP is, the, is using generic transport for the transmission of data. Uh, but REST uses HTTP and HTTPS. SOAP can't use REST because it is a protocol, but REST can use SOAP web services because it is a concept and can use protocols like HTTP and SOAP. There are different standards which are followed in SOAP and these standards are strictly followed. However, REST does not follow any such kind of standards. SOAP requires more bandwidth and resource than REST. So REST is using less bandwidth and resource as compared to SOAP. So these days, whatever transmission is done, most of them is using REST-based web services, whichever are the new APIs. If there is any old API or depending on the requirement that whether we need XML uh, format to transport, transmit the data, in that case only SOAP is being used because it is a bit uh, difficult to implement and use. Let me show you how SOAP API looks like. So we are going to a website for global weather. In this you can see there are two types of functions get cities by country is one which we will use so here you can you see that there is a method for soap and then we have uh, for HTTP get and post as well so if you focus on the one which we have for soap here you can see that the communication needs to be done using this particular XML you can identify the XML when it has a uh, this XML version encoding UTF-8 specified on the first line so that means this is a XML and this is called the SOAP envelope which is in which we are going to keep all the contents related to the SOAP XML whenever we are transmitting the data using the SOAP then we have to pass some headers and those headers include SOAP action also. So SOAP action is passed in the header when we are transmitting the data. So it needs to be included in the request. Along with that, these are the additional uh, information that we need to add like content type which we have already discussed in the earlier lecture. And this is the content length. So these are also the other headers that we need to include but most of the SOAP requests will have a SOAP action with them which is different from any other uh, request which is sent from the REST based API. So this is how the SOAP based API looks like. Now I will show you how the REST based API looks like. So for the REST based API, I have just come to Google and we can open Google Maps API which I, we had seen earlier as well. So I will just give you a quick recap of that. And here in the request, there is a different way in which we can create the request for Google Map uh, for the REST based API. So I am clicking on the Google Maps direction API.
okay so it took a bit time so here you can see that this is the url which we need to pass uh, for getting the response to the rest based api so you can see the difference that here in the uh, rest based api it is just a simple url which you need to edit with the api key and for any other fields we can just pass it as the parameters in uh, the way we saw in jmeter but in the case of rest based api the in the case of sorry soap based api we have a xml and we need to edit the data inside that xml so that is how the difference between rest and soap makes it easier for a person to use rest based api so it depends on the requirement like which api you need to use and uh, both are equally important in case of transmission of data in the apis so thank you